Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video will be about Civilization V. Uh, what I have here uh, is the stock plain uh, Civilization V running on Linux, so here under uh, native under uh, Steam Play in Linux. And what uh, I propose to do here is um, install the enhanced user AI and we'll go over exactly where to find that, how to install it, and also add uh, Info Addict, uh, the mod, how to enable mods and install a mod such as Info Addict on Civilization V. So, so I just wanted to show you here, let's go back to main menu to show you what the main menu looks like first. And as you see here, very vanilla mods are not enabled, so we're just pretty much plain Civ 5, so let's go ahead and exit and get to work here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to search for uh, Linux Civ 5 Enhanced UI. You're going to get two pages here. First of all, you're going to want to uh, open the tab with the mod itself and click on Enhanced User directly from uh, Fanatics Civilization Fanatic Center. Open this download here. Go ahead and uh, save it as an uh, zip to your downloads file. I already, ha already have it here uh, right there so it's already downloaded. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete what I already have here. Uh, delete this and this to show you exactly what I'm doing there. So let's close that again. The next thing we're going to do is how to uh, actually install it on Linux and there's a nice say uh, uh, GitHub page here from what's his name? Is it her name? MK or MJ Koo. So very nice of MJ Koo to provide this. So you just basically download the uh, file to your downloads file. Save it. So then uh, we can dive in, make sure it's saved. It is. So come on over here. Um, you can do this via command line, and that's what I'm going to do, uh, just because I'm kind of used to it now. So let's go ahead and go to our download folder. We're going to have this large gist file for the tar.gz. Oops, hold on a second there. Sorry about that. Got a little funny thing with CMUX there. So what we want to do is go over here, and let's uh, have a. Uh, oops. I have a shortcut here or an alias to unpack tar.gz since it's tar xzf. So what I would do here is I would just go uh, gz just. That's the same as typing tar dash space dash xzf. That will extract the package. So let's go ahead and list it. Now there is a file here, and if we list what's in that file, we have this e uei install.py. And so what we do here is copy the EUI, uh, sorry, uh, this will be just EUI. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my scripts page. So let's go ahead and go back home. Home is the same as uh, cd.tilde, it's just a lot easier to type for me. Let's go to scripts. And we're going to see we have this EUI install.py. It's already enabled. Uh, or activate it, so it's, it's the same as doing chmod plus x ui.py. Okay, so there's a couple notes here. Uh, when we look at this file, let's go ahead and bring it up in uh, in vim here. So let's do vim ui. A couple notes here. You do want to make sure that you have correct indentation. So for instance, if we were to go to uh, gedit, and we were to copy, say, this right here. I've had this problem and I got an error doing it. I just go copy, come over here and paste it. You'll notice there's no indentations, you will get an error. So make sure that you do that. Uh, that's why I downloaded the gist and, and packed it myself. It needs to be in this format or else you'll get an error. So that now that that's installed, 
That's good. So what we can do now is Python 2. This is a Python 2 uh, script. So we do Python 2 EUI. And we point that to our downloaded zip folder, which is in, for me, it's, it's in downloads EUI.zip. And it should go through. So now that officially you are, you have installed the enhanced user interface. So the next issue is how do we enable mods? in uh, the Linux version of Civ 5. So the thing we're going to need to do is just go ahead and go back home, go to the top here. Uh, we know that our files are in .local, share, steam. In my case, they're here. Sometimes they can be at .steam. Uh, you know what? One thing that we need to make sure we did, I'm going to go back to scripts because I don't think I did it. Uh, e, uh, e, UEI. Uh, I, this is not in the correct uh, location, so it actually wouldn't work. So make sure you do this, dot local. So this is the same as cd dot local, share, steam, steam apps, uh, common, Sid Myers, I believe. So okay, so you can see the past there, uh, past the steam apps, it's all the same. So what we need to do here is change this right here to insert local, Share Steam with a capital S to make sure that this path is the same as the path here. So now this should work. So I, I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and do our Python 2 install script pointed to the downloads. So this already exists. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is go to uh, common, oh, sorry, after Civ 5, Steam assets. Assets, DLC, and we're going to see this U, UIBC1. I'm going to go ahead and remove that just to make sure it's it's done correctly. Uh, so I'll do that again, and it should work. Okay, so now it's officially installed. You do need to make sure that that uh, when you check uh, when you check this that it's pointing to the right directory. In my case, it wasn't, so I had to change it. So so you check that, and you make sure that uh, you're pointing it the right direction and that it's formatted correctly. Those are the two things to worry about. Okay, so now that that's done, now that finally it is finally installed. So the next thing we need to do, again, let's go to the top. Uh, so from here, uh, we want to go up one level and we want to go to, where is it? I believe it's in UI. Actually, I think it's in DLC. No, uh, it's in UI, I believe, and it's in front end, and it's this uh, main menu dot Lua. So vim main menu dot Lua. You want to go down to line 41 here, and you see here as it controls mod buttons, set hide to true. This is back some kind of Mac port issues. So what you do here is uh, comment that out in Lua two dashes is the same as is basically commenting it out like this here. This text is commented in green means it's uh, it's uh, deactivated. So you, now you're going to have your mods button enabled on the main menu. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, get the mod that you want. So in this case, I just did uh, search for CIF5 InfoAttic download. You go to, uh, uh, I think we already did this. UI front end, yeah, we already did that. Uh, we go ahead and go here to Info Addict. And we get our direct download from Civ Fanatics. And we download Info Addict. Save file. Go ahead and put it, it's already in there, so I'm not going to do it again. So now we go back to our terminal, go here to Home, Downloads, and we uh, RM, RF. Just star, get rid of those. And we uh, unzip, unzip info addict, dot zip. And we have this info addict version 22. So that folder, we need to move to the correct uh, um, directory. So for uh, civ, that correct directory is cd.local. Share and I believe it's Asper, yeah, A S Y, A S P Y R. 
Uh, let me look here. Sid Myers. And it's in mods. And so we, what we want to do is copy the info addict to uh, home dot local share asper Sid Myers mods. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we need to do zero I R. So we need, think we need to do a R here. So now we do LS. Okay, so LS info addict. So we do know that it's actually there. So now we go back to Civ 5 and let's see how it worked. It just takes a bit to uh, load, unfortunately. I'm going to check and make sure my recording's going okay. Seems to be. Takes forever when you watch. All right, so we do have mods button here. We do have info addict. We go to next. In use, info addict, single player. Set up a game. Do Monty. Uh, small is good. Change that to DT. And set up bodies of water for Monty. You're going to want uh, small lakes. Yeah. Yeah, let's do small lakes. All right. So this should have everything. Jaguar, floating gardens. These things are awesome for Monty, and they work on uh, lakes. You are the so. leader of them. All right, so we have uh, enhanced UI, as you see here. A lot more information at, uh, readily available, and there's your info addict right there. So, right on. So hopefully that will. Uh, actually, I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, where's the X? Oh, just ex escape. So yeah, there's uh, installed info addict and enhanced UI. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.